Can I run as fast as Tom Cruise? Let's find out. Now, if this looks familiar, it's because I've already done enough stupid things while running, including running an entire 5K while wearing screen accurate Stormtrooper armor. But I recently watched the trailer for Mission Impossible 7, and I saw Tom Cruise, a 60-year-old man, running faster than I've seen any 60-year-old run before. Now, sure, he's fast, but is he faster than me? Probably. I'm going to be attempting to run as fast as Tom Cruise in this scene from Mission Impossible 3, barreling through the streets of Jitang at over 15 miles per hour, almost as fast as some professional sprinters. Tom Cruise has been running in movies since 1981, according to his personal Instagram account, and despite whatever you may think of him in his personal life, the dedication he shows toward his craft is outmatched by basically no one. He does all of his own stunts, including jumping a motorcycle off of a cliff, dangling from the side of an airplane in the sky, climbing the side of the Burj Khalifa, flying in real F-18 fighters jets, holding his breath for 7 minutes underwater, performing a real 25,000 foot halo jump, and breaking his shin right here before finishing the take. Most of all though, he runs. Over the past month, I've been studying Tom Cruise and his running in films throughout his career. The veteran actor has had a running scene in all but eight of his movies, eight movies out of 51 acting credits. And some initial studies have shown that when Tom Cruise runs in a film, it actually performs better at the box office. But that's a rabbit hole to go down a different time. Cruise claimed he could run at 17 miles per hour when he was younger, which likely could get him close to collegiate level athlete speed with some training. I feel the need, the need for speed. Now, Mission Impossible 3 was shot in 2005, when Tom Cruise was about 43 years old. In the film, he runs at full speed along a river in the town of Jitang in China, and the camera follows alongside him while he's running. The scene contains a number of vertical wooden pillars, which provide useful reference points for estimating his speed. To find out exactly how fast he was running, I captured a frame whenever Cruise passed a wooden pillar, stitched the frames together, and noted the time between pillars, which gives us this diagram. Based on this, we'll find that he runs at an average speed of 6.85 meters per second, or 15.3 two miles per hour. Therefore, in his film performance, Cruz exhibits really fast running, but he's not a world-class runner, which means I might have a chance. But first, I need to see if I'm even able to get my running top speed up to 15 miles an hour to match Tom's average speed. Luckily, I know of a speed sign near my house to help gauge just how fast I am. I have to be able to run 15 miles an hour if I'm gonna run as fast as Tom Cruise. Oh my gosh, it's already recording us. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know how he does that multiple takes, I'm already tired. Just because I can get up to 15 miles per hour though, doesn't mean that I can maintain that speed. 100 meters would be a lot more difficult and I'd have to run it in under 14.6 seconds to match Cruz's time in Mission Impossible 3. Three, two, one, go. Twelve point eighteen. Oh, easy money. Tom, I got you beat. But real question, can I do it in jeans like he does? Oh gosh. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Thirteen point seven. Dude, I'm still faster than Tom Cruise, which isn't saying much because he's like sixty. It's not fun. I did the mission possible. Even though I beat his time, he was wearing long pants and normal shoes, and he was in his 40s, and shouting Mandarin at people to get out of the way. And he got paid more than most of us will ever see in our lives for doing it. I think it's pretty obvious that Tom, even in his 40s, completely outmatches me in the athletic department, and I'm just 24. One thing's for certain though, I never want Tom to stop running. Run Tom, run.